Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Latifa Didimeji finally show off the scanning interior of his luxurious home in Lekki. This the actor Latifa Didimeji has grown to become one of the most successful actors and it's been from one good news to another good news. Especially from the end of 2021. He got married to the star Yuba actress, Adibimbo Yubadi. He's probably called Adibimbe Omor. This new generation of actors are counted as a lucky generation with attractive acting fees, mouth-watering endorsement deals, and good side businesses. So they have numerous sources of income. These two have some businesses aside acting. They have a studio with film equipment, our Notion Studios. They have added feet where they sell ready to wear sportwears. In addition to this, they have mouth-watering endorsement deals. Just as they were celebrating clocking one month of their wedding ceremony, they also celebrated acquiring luxurious mansion in the heart of Lekki. This house was listed to be on sale for the sum of 400 million there on a popular real estate site. This is how this beautiful home looks like. Bingo and Latif are now one of the power couples we have in the Nigerian movie industry. Bingo is a commercial mother, star actress, movie producer, and a budding entrepreneur. Whilst Latif is a star actor and an entrepreneur with mouth watering endorsement dues, including the one with Airtel Nigeria. As you see what their home looks like, this is a short but interesting biography of these two movie stars. Latif Adi Dimeji joined the movie industry as a dancer and he was even enrolled in the dancing school, the industry for over 15 years. He has been in the movie industry for over 15 years and acted in over 100 movies. Currently, he's a brand ambassador to several reputable brands, including Airtel Nigeria. Some of the movies Latif has featured on over the years include The New Patriots, Binobaku, Veil, Kude Klepto, Iyogi, Once Upon a Time, Illuminira, Bipolar, Koto, Igyaladi, Adibin Piyomoba, Veil, Birded Life, Bipolar, Dundu, Anila, Progressive Taylor's Club, Love Castle, and a Nigeria Christmas. He has been through a lot of ups and downs. His achievements and fame came as a result of hard work, determination, and perseverance. He's one of the movie stars who have impressed their fans through their amazing talents. Before his debut as an actor, he worked for an NGO as an informer and counselor during the HIV and AIDS campaigns. His role was to educate the general public on sexual related issues and human rights by creating video content in which he acted. Later on, he landed a job as a scriptwriter at Tourism TV for a program titled Sababi, which aired for more than two years. He also worked for the same TV show as the host of a talk show named Miliki Express. For his education, he attended Iriakari Primary School at Isolo for his primary education before he attended Ilamoye Grammar School at Okota in Lagos State for his secondary school education. This was where the NGO picked Latif from. Those days, the NGOs will visit secondary schools and pick the best students, then train them on 18 different topics. The students serve as informers and counselors during the HIV and AIDS campaigns. Latifa Didimeji also attended a performance studio workshop at Onika, Lagos State, where he had his performance training. His writing and acting skills were developed in the NGO Community Life Project. He then graduated from Olabison of Nambanjo University, where he obtained a bachelor's degree in mass communication. It was during his time at the NGO that he developed the ability to be able to affect people's emotions. His role was to educate the general public on sexual related issues and human rights. He also created video content in which he acted in. For so many years, Latifa Didimeji has been known to play the role of an emotional person. He cries easily. And so many people will refer to him as crime machine. He has been active in the movie industry since the year 2007. Even though it was not until he featured on the movie Kudu Club to in 2013 before he hit the spotlight. This film was produced by Yuan De Adeko Yabioto, who is also a star Yoruba actor and a movie producer. Then Latif won his first major award and several other awards. Since then, his career has grown rapidly and the sky has been the beginning for Latif. Apart from all this, he's also a talented musician. Some of his songs include Ajura, Yala, Timbadili, Duro, Together, and Prayer for the World. This star Yuba actor has won many awards over the years. 
and some of the awards and nominations include the 2014 Old Drama Movie Awards for Best Actor category, 2015 Best Honorable Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Yoruba category, 2015 City People Entertainment Awards for Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yoruba category, 2016 Best Honorable Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Yoruba category, 2018 Best Honorable Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Yoruba category, 2018 City People Movie Awards for Best Actor of the Year Yoruba category, 2019 Best Honorable Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Yoruba category, 2019 Best Honorable Awards for Best Supporting Actor of the Year Yoruba category, 2020 Best Honorable Awards Best Actor in the Lead Yoruba category. 2021 African Movie Academy Awards for Best Actor in the Lead Yoruba. Over the years, especially before Latif hit the spotlight, he worked on different characters. And for those different characters, he says that this can last him and make him stand the test of time in the movie industry. If an actor has five different characters that can last them for decades, then it is sure that they will be very relevant in the movie industry decade after decade because viewers get tired in seeing actors in just one character. Over time, they want you to, to switch and see in the different character. Also, even though this actor was born in Lagos State on February 1st, 1986, he's a native of Abeokuta in Logo State. His mother is Kudira Tade Dimitri. She's a trader who is from Oyo State. So his father is from Ogun State and his mother is from Oyo State. But then he was born and bred in Lagos State. For a very long time, many people thought Latif was a relative of Odunladi Adikola. Some people even used to refer to him as the younger brother of Odunladi Adikola. However, they're just from the same place, Abokuta. But they are not relatives. Apart from his unique acting skills, some people also praised him for his writing skills. And he was equally opportune to work with UNICEF due to his writing prowess. Atifa Didimeji was awarded the face of Nollywood Mill during the In Nigerian Newspaper Night of Hana on October 30th, 2021. He was also amongst the 100 most influential personalities in Nigeria by Lagos Maxim. Some of his movies include Ayila, Prophetess, In Niger Christmas, Brother Life, Sugar Rush, Dwindu, Lagos Castle, Mokalik. Progressive Taylor's Club, Bipolar, Uluki Kyuru, The Midnight Sensation. Just to mention a few of them. So this is a little bit about the style you back to Latif Adedimiji. We are coming to the end of this episode where the style you back to finally show off the stunning interior of this luxurious home in the heart of Lekki, which is said to be listed as 400 millionaire. Congratulations once again to Latif Adedimiji at the